Hey everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome back to the Road to 120 Invention. This is episode number 11. I do have a supply run in this episode, it is going to take the entire episode, but the good news is it's only going to take this episode. On the next one, we can jump right back into a little bit more invention. I want to run you through the supply run, tell you exactly what I'm doing. At the end of the last episode, I mentioned that I was chopping some Elder Logs, and as you can see, that is what I'm continuing to do here. I will be finishing up with just over a thousand Elder Logs. The thing about Elder logs that I really like very very AFK uh, the, the slight trick that I like to use I just put some headphones in or maybe even one headphone and have my sound effects on usually pretty low because the wood cutting sound can be pretty killer if it's a little too high but uh, if, if the sounds a little bit low and I can still hear myself wood cutting I can hear when the tree is done and I can also just hear when there's no wood cutting going on in my ear so it's actually extremely AFK I can just minimize this window if really necessary and honestly it's like five five to seven hundred K an hour kind of depending uh, the prices fluctuate, and the speed is not always the same, honestly. But uh, it's it's not terrible for how extremely AFK it is in terms of money making. So I'm definitely thinking about coming back to Elder Logs, at least to make some cash so I can just purchase some other supplies or whatnot. So maybe it'll be off camera, but just in general, this is a, a method of skilling and money making that I do like a lot. After this, I'm going to turn these logs into Elder Shield bows. I am going to buy some bowstrings and string those up too. I will then move on to some rock tail fishing, which I will not do very much of because uh, I don't mind fishing rock tail. I realize they're slow. I did it from 90 to 99 for my very first skill cape, uh, but they're decent cash, and I figured they'd be decent supplies for how high level supply they are. The thing is, I eventually looked them up only like 10 to 12 rock tails in, and I learned that they were only 2.7 XP to disassemble, which is horrible. If I, if I caught a thousand of them, I get 2.7k XP, and honestly it would have taken me like 10 hours. So realistically, that's just a horrible idea. So I don't, I don't do many rock tails, but I started them and you'll see a decent section of them in this episode. Afterward, I moved on to mining some coal and a little bit of rune ore. Uh, I did it with a rune pickaxe, and I admit, I, I do have to go discover my uh, my tool augmenter or whatever it is an uh, augmenter for a pickaxe so I can go ahead and maybe it's for an axe right now I'm not sure I'd have to look into it but I know I can augment a pickaxe either now or soon eventually and I might as well be investing in a dragon pickaxe to do that so I will be switching over to a dragon pick soon but we still still working with our beautiful rune pickaxe uh, I do mine a little bit of rune and coal as I was saying and I'm gonna turn those into rune bars for some later use but that will wrap up the supply run that's all I'm gonna be doing in this episode uh, still working on the elder shield bows here and you will be seeing the rest of that throughout the episode, but I have a few more things that I would like to jump into. I'm going to stick to the topic of invention for just a little bit. I would like to talk about it a little bit. I feel like I haven't discussed invention very much. I am 10 episodes in, this is the 11th episode clearly, of this Road to 120 invention. I'm at 25 invention. Uh, so far I'm liking it. Uh, I, think, I think there's a lot of interesting stuff involved, but it's an extremely complex skill compared to some others. Like, think about fishing. Think about how lazy and boring this rock tail fishing you're watching is. I mean, compared to what we've done in Invention, which not necessarily has been extremely exciting, it's just not nearly as complex. So there's a lot going on in Invention. I do feel pretty comfortable with everything that's going on so far. I don't know all the parts or all the perks or which parts help which perks. I do have to look them up all the time to still kind of get an idea, but I've been like writing things down, figuring out what perks I would like for certain weapons. Things that I, I will be working on, uh, you will be seeing later in the series. I've just been doing a little bit more research, and we will start talking about those things a little more, because this is a Road to 120 invention, so I feel like we need to at least learn this skill while we do this series. But so far, the biggest thing I got out of it is it's giant. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, I think right now my goals are to just kind of know like what parts do what, what parts are certainly, or certainly, what parts are necessary for building certain items. I want to build some junk refiners pretty soon, that's why I'm making those rune bars. But I just realized that they needed crafted parts, and I only have like 500 crafted parts. And I actually need like 5,000 for the amount of junk refiners I wanted to make. So I needed to go get crafted parts, which I already have a plan. Uh, and the next supply run will be only a single single section of items it'll be very small probably half an episode and it'll be about getting some crafted parts um i, th I think i wanted to do spears for it but i haven't fully decided on that that yet either way what i was saying is i kind of want to get i don't know a better knowledge about the materials and the parts components what i can do to get them what i should be doing to get them the best ways to do it things like that uh, and i think i'm i think i've started doing that and I'm getting a little bit better at that. So I'll be discussing that more. Most of my supply runs from now on will be based on 
uh, what materials I'm getting, not how much XP I'm getting. Clearly it's better to get XP through augmenting some weapons and just disassembling them. We won't even have to disassemble them. Disassemble them. That word's going to be killing me all series, guys. We don't have to get rid of them, make them disappear, take them apart to get the experience from them. You can siphon them eventually. I just don't believe I've unlocked it yet. I don't have that much information on that aspect yet. But either way, clearly the majority of our invention XP is going to be coming from big weapons and armor and maybe other tools that we've augmented, not from disassembling things. So that's going to be more about getting parts from now on. Uh, and I'll also, when I go to disassemble, other than the end of this supply run, I'll discuss what parts I'm getting a little more, discuss more things about those parts. Those topics will be a little bit higher up on the list. I think that's all the big things that I need to talk about in terms of the invention series, so I have a little bit of time to catch up with you guys. First things first, don't forget to drop in your Q&As. I always want to see those things. As many Q&As as you got, guys. If you have a question for me, go ahead and ask it. I do not mind answering whatever you got. It can bring up a solid topic for a pretty good conversation. Uh, in terms of the baseball world, actually in terms of the sports world here, because I'll talk about a couple of the things in just baseball. Uh, number one team in the American League today was the Boston Red Sox when I woke up, and the number one team in the National League was the Cubs. Cubs are the best team in baseball. Yeah, they, they've been playing good baseball, but lately the hottest team would be the Giants, who are like, I want to say they're 9-1 in the last 10 games. Uh, they've had a couple of win streaks, and it's the even year. Giants have won the last three even years, so... I guess it's kind of expected. Uh, in other sports, we have the NHL. I'm a big hockey fan, not nearly as big as baseball. Probably even shouldn't say big hockey fan. I really enjoy watching hockey, but I don't watch a lot of it. But the Sharks have made the playoffs, which are my team. Uh, if if I rooted, I, I root for the Sharks. But like I said, I don't I don't watch a lot of hockey. So the team that I root for the most, not saying I root for them a lot, would be the Sharks, and they will be playing the Penguins in the finals, I believe. I didn't actually watch the game, I just had somebody tell me, so I'm totally going off of a friend's knowledge. But I know that the Sharks won, I was watching that game, and the Sharks made it, so I'm pretty excited, hoping that'll go well. Basketball news, uh, the series are pretty tight in the conference finals. Uh, right now, I don't really, I guess, I guess I... I figure Cleveland's going to win their series, but I don't have a specific team that I'm going for. I like OKC, but I like Golden State just as much, so I don't care about that series. And I would like either of those teams to beat Cleveland, who I think will be in the finals. But it could be Toronto, and I, I think Toronto would be pretty cool to win too. So I guess just in general, I'm looking forward to a little bit more uh, good basketball to be played. In the non-sports world, I recently got back from kind of a mini vacation. Uh, my friend of mine that I'm staying with, he, uh, him and his family took me out to Aspen for a couple days, which is pretty cool. I'm re really getting over my cold, though. I still was kind of sick in Aspen. I've been sick for like two weeks. And I, like today, I felt pretty good this morning, so I'm definitely kind of getting over it. It's kind of getting better, but the combination of that cold and being away for a few days means I haven't gotten as much done in the past like five or six days that I wanted to. Uh, doesn't really, if, didn't affect this series too much because this was mostly AFK stuff. I was able to get this done fairly well. Uh, for the Slayer, this next Slayer episode, it's going to be, I mean, it'll still be the same length. You guys will still get the same amount of video, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but it'll be mostly like one task. I have a big Sire task I'm still working on it, taking forever. And then if I get a couple assignments after it, I'll still squeeze them in. So it probably won't be as many assignments as normal. I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference. It'll just be a bunch of Sire vid. But either way, I definitely have been a little bit slow on progress uh, this week, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm back in a uh, position to make a lot of videos and actually get a lot of stuff done. Uh, overall, I, I guess I am leaving in a couple weeks, but I think I'm back on track and I'm very happy about that. Uh, the biggest thing, honestly, was the cold. I don't know if you can still hear it in my voice. I don't think you can really hear it in my voice, but it's possible it comes up here and there. But I definitely I still am stuffed up and it's kind of gross and it kind of sucks. But it's getting better. Drinking a lot of fluids. Guys, just remember to drink water. Seriously. The days that I remember to drink as much water as I can, or at least, you know, a reasonable amount of water, are the days that I get the most stuff done, I feel the best when I go to sleep, and the next morning I feel the best when I wake up. Seriously, drink water. We're made of water. I don't know why you would, wouldn't want to drink water. You don't only have to drink water. There are other drinks in the world. Uh, let's see, I had a Snapple yesterday that was absolutely delicious. But water is something we all need. And just keep drinking water, guys. I don't get it. I don't get why you wouldn't. I shouldn't even have to have this conversation with you. It's ridiculous that this would even... I guess I brought it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ranted at you. But y you get where I'm saying. You get where I'm going. This is why I'm feeling okay at all today. 
is because I've been drinking water. Guys, I am going to be wrapping up the episode just about here. We're about to finish up the rune bars. I think he's got one more load to go, so maybe I'll let him finish that load out. Uh, I've been really enjoying this Road to 120 invention. It's been a little bit relaxed. I would like to step it up a little bit. Um, I think we're going to be doing a lot of combat soon. Not like a lot, a lot, but to get a lot of XP, we're going to have to do a lot of combat. So I'll be adding a little bit more combat. In terms of content, maybe it'll be a little bit more exciting. Like I, like I said in the trailer even, this is kind of an AFK series. So the, the attraction to this is more about what I'm saying to you, not necessarily what I'm doing on the screen. But that might change a little bit. I do have a couple of things to go to go into this series that will be a little bit more exciting to watch. Other than that, um, I got to say, guys, I've had a lot of fun so far. Thank you so much for bringing us to 11 episodes. We still have a lot to go. I hope you have been enjoying up to this point. I know that I have, and I will see you next time. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click on that like button and tell us what you enjoyed about it. If you're looking for some more RuneScape videos like this one, then be sure to join the cul-de-sac by subscribing for more. We will see you next time.